What's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. On today's video, we're going to fix the number one problem with lithium battery conversions. The number one, this is the number one problem that not many people is talking about. And they will only talk about it when something bad happens. Like in today's case, I had a guy reach out to me during December. And it was during the time I took a hiatus from YouTube. And he says, I bought a brand new battery for his golf cart. And um, he said he put the battery in, he, he mounted a charger on board, and he mounted one of those uh, plugs on the front of the golf cart where you can just plug it into it. He says, but the problem is that his little girl got onto the golf cart while it was charging. He was into the garage. He didn't think anything of it. She uh, must have turned the key switch on. Key was left in and turned the key switch on. And she was just playing like she was driving, hit the throttle. And the golf cart jolts into the garage. He said it scared him, it scared her. Luckily, the little girl didn't get injured or hurt. However, you know, some tools were knocked over. I think the bicycles may have dented a, a truck or car in the garage. He said, I thought golf carts had like a safety switch that, um, you know, your golf cart wouldn't power on while it was charging. Well, they do when everything's stock. But once you start adding lithium batteries, and you add an onboard charger and you just you know plug an extension cord to the charger well all of that safety stuff goes away and i'll show you exactly what i'm talking about here on my golf cart in just a minute because they do it whether you want to admit it or not it can easily happen to anyone so today we're going to remedy that problem with a diode and this diode here has terminals on the very top I'll place a link to this in the description here, but you can get everything that you need to uh, add this safety switch back to your lithium battery conversion for about 30 bucks. But all the links will be in the description below, but a diode and a relay. And we just made a video talking about relays. And this right here is gonna be a 48 volt relay. But if you have a 36 volt golf cart, you need a 36 volt relay. If you have a 72 volt golf cart, you need a 72 volt relay. I'm going to show you exactly how to install all this right here on today's video so you can add this safety switch back to your golf cart whether you leave the key in there or not and if a little one happens to jump on it you know while it's charging the golf cart will not jolt forward you will not be able to move the golf cart until you remove power away from the system let's get started all right so i have the extension cord plugged into this charger here Charger's running. The gauge says 19% and it's charging. Now with this cart here, this little president, this is, has that little Chinese um, digital key switch, right? But let's just say it was a regular key switch and then, you know, we left the key in. Okay, it's on. I'll put it in forward. Still charging. See that? So the two main components we're going to use is a diode and a relay. So this is the diode and this is how it works. This is basically like a check valve. It allows current to flow one way but not the other way. Okay? Kind of like a uh, check valve in a pneumatic system or a check valve in a water system. Um, we'll put a positive on this side. This is input. This right here is output. You see we got a reading there on the meter. Now, if I switch the leads around, positive here and negative here, there's no reading. So positive can go or power can go through here, but it cannot come backwards. So basically what we're going to do here is we're going to use this inline with the charger. If you've seen my relay video, then you'll understand this segment portion of the video here. Wire colors doesn't mean anything, okay? Just because these two are green, this one's white, and this one's yellow doesn't mean anything. Your relay harness may be different than mine, okay? So how do we wire this all up here? Now on the relay here, this right here, pin here, is pin 86. And this right here, pin is 85. Now, 
Pin 85 is going to go to the battery negative. Pin 86 is going to go to the diode input right here. The reason we do that is because when the golf cart is charging, the relay will be activated. But once the golf cart isn't charging, the relay will be off. Now, we're going to be using this lower terminal here and this middle terminal. We're not going to use the top one, so don't think about that one at all. This middle one here is 87A. That is your normally closed terminal. So right now, this lower terminal and this middle terminal will have continuity. Now, if we activate the relay, these two won't have continuity, but this one and this upper one will. If you kind of, you know, if it, relays don't make much sense to you, I have a relay video dedicated just to relays, and I'll, I'll link it here, or I'll link it at the end of this video here. Okay, with that being said, we're going to run 86 to the input of the diode. We're going to run 85 to battery ground. Once you do that, we're going to take this number 30 and 87A, which is in the middle right here. We're going to run that to the key switch on the dash. It doesn't matter if you put it to the uh, input or the output side of the key switch because when the golf cart isn't charging, these two have continuity and it's just a pass through. But once the golf cart is charging and the relay activates, these two do not have continuity anymore and this right here, pin 30, and this one does. So that means that when you turn the key switch on, nothing will happen. All right, the first thing I did was we'll go ahead and turn the battery off. Went ahead and disconnected the positive post here. This goes to the golf cart, and this is the charger. So we're gonna use this right here, charger leg, for the input of the diode. All right, so I mounted my diode right there on the front of the shell. See it right there? Next, what we're gonna do, is we're gonna attach the relay. 86 is gonna go here, as well as this brown wire from the charger. So I tend to keep a lot of things here, and this cable here used to go to an old charger, and it had two positive, well, it had a positive and a negative end on it. I cut the positive end off, I used some heat shrink, a ring terminal, made this little jumper here. This is gonna go from the diode back to the battery. All right, got that positive cable going from the diode to the battery. I just took the other side of that um, charger cable that I had left over, this black one. We're gonna attach this to the other side of the relay into the battery. All right, got the ground wire hooked up right here. Run along, feeding into the white wire of the relay. We have these two green wires. And if we put the multimeter on it right now, they would have continuity, okay? So we're gonna take those green wires and run those up to the behind the key switch here on the dash. So once we plug the charger in, these two wires here will not have continuity. And when we unplug the charger, they will have continuity. So we're not gonna put one on one side of the key switch and one on the other side of the key switch. We're gonna take one side of the key switch and cut that wire in half, go to one, and then go to the other. Kind of like a starter kill on a, um, on a vehicle is basically what we're doing here. All right, so this right here is going to be generally how everything uh, works once it's wired up. So right now, I have both the green wires going to an alligator clamp. Let's go into the multimeter. I have the multimeter on continuity. So once I turn this on, we have continuity. You hear that? Once I plug the charger up, now the relay is breaking continuity. So there's no continuity between these wires. So since we're going to use this right here for the key switch, then that means that we can't turn the key switch on or off. Unplug it, and we have continuity again to ride the golf cart. And on the relay, I took those green wires, ran them down there between the charging receptacles so I can run them underneath the floor mat. All right, so I went ahead and ran these two wires underneath the floor mat up behind the dash here, okay? I've removed the dash from the golf cart so we can gain access 
to your ignition switch. And it doesn't matter if you have a regular switch or an aftermarket switch like this right here. On the club cars, you're going to have green and blue. Generally, it's going to be your stock factory colors, and green is going to supply power to the key switch. And then blue is going to supply power from the key switch to the controller. It doesn't matter which one you use because the only thing we're doing is breaking continuity and making continuity. That's it. I have this green one disconnected, and I'm going to do that one. So basically what I'm going to do is I'm going to come in here and add one male and one female spade connector to plug into here. Red wire is now going into those green wires. Just like I said, all I was doing is making and breaking continuity. I did a male and a female. On that, I'm going to go ahead and replace this dash panel back up there next. All right, this is the extension cord here to power on the charger. Right now, the charger is not powered on. Let's turn the golf cart on here. Okay, I'm going to put it in forward. Solenoid just click. Golf cart is moving. Put it in reverse. Golf cart is moving, right? So while the golf cart is in the on position, I'm going to go ahead and plug the charger up. Once we plug the charger up, um, we won't be able to move the golf cart because the relay is going to break continuity off of that diode. All right, just plug the charger up. Wait for it to kick on. There it is, it's kicked on. Let's go ahead and put it in forward. Nothing. Put in reverse. Nothing either. Unplug the charger. The relay just clicked back. Leave it in forward. Forward works. Reverse works as well. So this modification works perfectly on this golf cart and this will work in any golf cart because the only thing we're doing is using the charger to make and break connection with the relay and you can use it on any golf cart because it hooks to the key switch it's that simple all right guys so that pretty much wraps up today's video everything works like it should if you've done a lithium battery conversion to your golf cart or if a shop has done it to your golf cart they probably did not add this right here and um, this right here is a great safety feature to add back to the golf cart. So once it's charging, you can't just get on the golf cart and go. Anyways, with that being said, remember I'm listing all the parts that I've used in today's video down in the video description. Go down there, click the links that will send you straight to Amazon where you can buy these parts to do this uh, install yourself. With that being said, guys, again, appreciate you watching. Like, share, subscribe, and we'll see you guys on the next one.